Mankel Muller is our guest. He's a syndicated radio host, of course, been a co-host on the Morning Fox show for more than a decade. And uh, he also has a hit show on the History Channel right now, God, Guns, and Automobiles, uh, with his uh, brother, of course, uh, Mark Muller of Max Motors. And the reason I got him on uh, today and asked him to come on was because uh, I was on his radio show uh, today, and I'm back on it tomorrow, popping in with news updates. And, and Man Cow is one of the few people I can talk to who's been on talk radio for decades, who knows how the news works, who understands things. Like he said on his show today, I see Obamacare press releases on his website, and then I see it word for word on CNN and MSNBC that night. They are literally loading the teleprompters word for word with whatever the White House says. And, and how he sees an Obamacare supporter uh, sticker on a car and literally has to control himself not to ram their vehicle. I mean, I have these exact same type of thoughts because I'm so sick of the gullibility of people that do not know how media works, do not know how this stuff operates. So I say a lot of things on Man Cow's show that will get him to then blurt out things that he's confirmed separately going through it. So I was mentioning how they're coming out with all these internet censorship bills, and I've got a UN secret treaty uh, that our government's already signed on to that WikiLeaks just leaked today. Kurt Nemo has that article at Infowars.com. Secret globalist treaty threatens internet freedom. We broke that the white boxes are NSA run, going in nationwide, stealing all your phone data illegally. The Seattle police within 24 hours st said they've turned them off and admitted they're illegal. That's not national news. That's now not in mainstream news. That's how controlled the media is. We break it, secret documents. The police put out a press release and say we're turning it off. The city council in Seattle's freaking out. Turns out it's going in nationwide. This should be one of the top stories in the world. Secret boxes stealing all your cell phone data, tracking you in real time, face scanning you, you name it. It's not even news, folks. Okay, this is how dark it's gotten. This is how many minutes close to midnight we've gotten. I mean, I'm freaked out every second now. I always slept like the dead. I can't even sleep now. I'm so freaked out historically, knowing historically where we're at from studying history. I mean, this is insane. Wired Magazine says our government has weaponized the Internet. Here's how they did it. And admits the whole thing surveilling you, tracking you, and using data against you economically. You go, well, what do I have to hide? They're predators. Look at Obamacare. Designed to rip you off. Designed to not work. And it was Mancow months ago that said, you watch. When it comes out, it won't work. It's designed to be a total fraud. And he was absolutely right. So he joins us now. So, so I'm just setting this up here because I'm on his show. And he's you know, t talking about what's next in media control. And I said, well, all the mainstream media is dying because people know they're lying. Alternative media is exploding. But they're doing everything they can to cut off money to it so we can't operate. We have giant audiences are routinely number one in major cities on some of the same stations as Mancow I'm on, like Orlando and others. And they come in and buy the station and take us off. Number one in cities up against the competition on stations that are even small and they take us off. So you don't get a brass ring. You don't get a trophy for being number one. You get taken off the air. OK, I'm going to explain how this works. And now they want to shut down the Internet and the alternative because we're beating them there. And we're taking over. They don't want DrudgeReport.com. They don't want Infowars.com. They don't want ManCal.com. They don't want WorldNetDaily.com. They don't want TheBlaze.com, Breitbart.com. You can say, well, those, you know, none of those groups are perfect. I'm not perfect. The point is, the establishment sees us as the enemy because we're free agents, period. We're not serving them. We have red blood. We don't like being run over. Now, I, I say the next phase, as the Pentagon has announced, document cam police, is going to they're going to spend billions buying off the media, billions buying off the media. And then once they've done that, uh, they are going to then just start shutting off the smaller blogs. And they're also going to try to buy people off through different different conduits. So that's the bottom line there. Here's the Washington Post from earlier this year. U.S. repeals propaganda ban, spreads government-made news to Americans. And remember, the Pentagon came out and said on record 
that they are going to go out and, quote, work with alternative media and try to create partnerships. That means covert partnerships, black ops. Now, how this works, we're going to go to ManCal right now, is I was offered three and a half million dollars like 13, 14 years ago to sell out to one of the major networks. And they told me, you will not talk about the New World Order, the Federal Reserve, the government dealing drugs, any of that stuff. You will be a mainline conservative. And I said, no. So years later, a deal came along for over $9 million, close to 10. And people say, well, why don't you say who did it? Well, you sign agreements in these meetings or you go in and it's, it's all in confidence. I, I can say what I've been offered before and some of it's come out in the news before, but I won't say who did it or you know how it all happened. Because if you ever do that, then you never even get the intel of the offers. So I'm on ManCal's show telling the story. And then he goes, yes, that just happened to me last week. And the point is, this is intensifying right now. They are buying up the opposition right now. Uh, and ManCal did not go along with that. And so he can tell you now from an insider perspective, this is a major guy with a hit show on History Channel, other shows in the works, Fox News contributor, syndicated radio show. He's already made, you know, tens of millions of dollars in radio. He's a real major player. This is real. This is credible. This is what's going on in America, folks. This is how they're taking down the media. Because most people, like Armstrong Williams, sold out for a quarter mil to promote No Child Left Behind, a small talk show host, a small columnist. Okay, you know, he gets a quarter mil to sell out. Mancal gets offered nine plus mil. Mancal, there is the intro, sir. Tell us exactly. And then you've got some big Hollywood insider news, what they told you about yeah. kn knowing Obama, living with Obama. Go well, ahead. Al Alex, look, I knew Obama before he was anybody. I knew about the church before anything because here was a Christian church that celebrated Islam. Um, Harry Lennox was just in. I told you about this. I think that's a blockbuster story. The star with James Spader of this hit show, The Blacklist. And he told me that he was the actor hired to teach Obama to be Harry Lennox. Watch The Blacklist and you can see Obama. That This is an actor that we hired in our president. All right, look, I went to number one on WABC in New York. And they said, uh, well, what happens now? I said, I get fired. I had uh, number one show in Chicago on Q101, Emmis Corporation. Emmis means truth. And I personally found them to be a bunch of liars. But they came to me and they said, look, we don't want you on the Fox News channel. And there was, there was many issues, but we want you to support Hillary. Uh, we, you know, we don't like seeing you on TV. Uh, we don't want you to syndicate. We don't, uh, and, and that's it. And I said, fine. Now, now I'm going to tell you something that you're going to disagree with, but, but let me continue here. It was actually two weeks ago, one of these major corporations, I got offered nine and a half million dollars for a three-year deal. No comedy, no musical elements, and they wanted me to uh, lean towards and promote Obama. And I said no. Now, I, I, I have to say I feel a little bit like Noah, I'm sure you do as well, as the flood is here. And you and I have dear friends, Alex, who, who have sold out. And I ask your listeners, when you have somebody you love, a radio personality or a TV host that you love, and all of a sudden, wait a minute, now they're promoting something that they hated. Uh, well, wait a minute, I'm a Republican or I'm a Democrat, I'm this. And they're doing company line, they're doing party line, even though it's against everything that they didn't, they didn't agree with a week ago. Why is that? Well, because it's a script. And, of course, I often wonder why am I sitting here working so hard when I could sell out and it would be so much easier to just go along. So, look, <laughs> this company, the point that I want to make that you're not going to like and people aren't going to like. I have a right not to hire somebody that I don't want to hire. I have a right to tell my employees I don't like your stupid haircut. I don't want you coming in here with a death metal shirt. Cover up your tattoos. No, I, you know I want to see your I want to see your face. I don't want you wearing a burka. Yeah, but man, Cal, I've got to say is. this. I've got to say this. I've got to say this. Look, well, look. You well, said, wait, 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 hold, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, finish, but here's the deal. They've taken our money, our tax money. Going, man, Cal, you love free speech. And the band, uh, the Black Crows, had a woman's private area on the front of their CD, and they wanted me to go against Walmart. Well, look, 
Walmart has a right to say no. A major corporation, and yes, they've got friends in the Obama administration, has a right to say, man, cow, we're going to pay you $9.5 million, but you have to support Obamacare. They have a right to say that, Alex, and I have a right to say no. Man, Cal, I absolutely, totally disagree with you because this isn't, let me stop you. This isn't like you're going to work at Twin Peaks Burger Bar with girls being scantily clad and the uniform well, like and, and the uniform <laughs> is Daisy Dukes and then, and then, and then, and then you disagree with it. Sure, you, you go to work there, they have a right to say that's their dress code. This is where you've got a combine of offshore banks, the military industrial complex, who's got control of banker bailout money and taxpayer money, using that money through media combines they own to go out and then basically shut down the rest of the media through regulation and then basically buy everyone off to put out their message. That's what's going on. And I understand you're coming out talking about a major deal you refused and you don't want to totally burn bridges. And I understand when the devil puts their arm around your, uh, you know, their arm around your neck and, and offers you something really great, you know, you push the devil away, but you still say, man, you're sexy. I get all that, but come on, this shows, look at Armstrong Williams being paid off with taxpayer money to go out and promote No Child Left Behind. My right. point is, this is going on everywhere. This Alex. is happening everywhere. Alex, hmm? you're not, you're not going to hire somebody that hates the Alex Jones show. You're not going to hire. Look, yes, I, I understand what you're saying, but they certainly, whatever, whatever you want to label them. They stole they all the right money. To, they stole the, the pay, economy. They're exempt from all the taxes. Informed. They have a right to say. Now they buy everything up. to support Obama. And I have a right to say, I don't want to do that. Now, is it sad? Is it? Do I wish that they would support free speech? Yes. Is it discouraging? Yes. No, but I'll tell you what's not this. fair. You know a lot of, you know more Hollywood Alex folks than I do. Is the Tribune is firing everybody. The Sun-Times was the size of the L.A. phone book when I came to Chicago. Now it's three pages of race baiting. I watched Scott Pelley and Brian Williams, and they were on ABC, CBS, and, you know, all the rest, the propagandists, and they're reading the press releases that you and I get but refuse to read. And I think people know that the mainstream newspapers, which are over, they know that ABC, CBS, NBC, and the rest, that it's, it's White House propaganda, and don't believe the illusion. They're failing. So we will win, Alex. We are winning. And by the way, I've read the, I've read the end of the book, and so have you. Good wins and God wins. And I don't want people to get discouraged. No, no, I hear you. But listen, I appreciate your courage on your own show, talking about being given this offer and then refusing it. My only issue is this. They're, they're trying to bring back the fairness doctrine so that we can't have our free speech. The FCC... Well, that's right is announcing that they are persecuting the tea party with the irs and the pro-life groups yeah uh, they are funding all these new acorn groups as uh, obama navigators to rip everybody off oh, so, so 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 it's my point acorn. is my point is you being given this offer to leave obama alone is clearly part of the larger takeover is what i'm getting at what, what's the question though is it disgusting is it sickening does it sadden me? Would I like to be able to have more money for my children? Of course. My soul is not for sale, and I hope that more good people stand up. Look, the fact is Obama has more whistleblowers in his administration than all other administrations combined. People are standing up. Of course, their lives are being destroyed. Nobody's allowed to really talk truthfully about Benghazi. You know that 200 of the top military people in America have been fired. I mean, this is a coup d'etat. Obama is, you know, if you question Obama, you get destroyed. I get audited year after year, as you do, illegally. Do I like it? No. The fight goes on, and I hope that people listening will join us. Yeah. Um, it, believe me, it'd be much easier to go along, and I think most people just go along and take their paycheck and, uh, and, and enjoy the, you know, the end of the world being televised. I can't live that way. Well, listen, Mancal, I agree with you, but uh, here's an example of the censorship. Everyone I know in Hollywood, you know more people than I do, you know everybody. Everybody I know in Hollywood, almost everybody, unless it's I'm having dinner with Sean Penn and he's like basically a low-grade moron. Everyone in Hollywood that I talk to, almost all of them, are not really liberals, they're not socialists, they're not even conservatives, they're libertarians, what you'd call conspiracy theorists. That just means they don't believe known liars. They don't believe the system. But they all say, I'll be kicked yeah. off TV, I'll be kicked out of movies. 
if I don't go along with this, there's a few mob bosses up at the top, and I've been in meetings with these studio heads and people, they are like mob bosses, who literally have everybody living under fear. Uh, James Woods has come out and said he's been told he'll never work again because he dared criticize Obama. This is a tyranny. We all need to stand together like James Woods and others and say enough is enough. This makes McCarthy and, and his blacklist look like nothing, man cow, is what I'm saying. Well, it was McCarthy right. Is Hollywood loaded with socialists and commies? And by the way, uh, you know, everybody, look, Ted Cruz made a mistake. My take was let it go, let it fail. Uh, the man felt like he had to fight. But by the way, as everybody was bashing, you know, the rhinos, Republican in name only, the, the, the lamestream uh, Republicans, which are, you know, they're, look, it's, 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 it's Hulk Hogan versus Iron Sheik. It's all fake. Republican versus Democrat is fake at this point. But everybody was going after Ted Cruz. Everything Ted Cruz said was the truth. Everything that you and I are saying is the truth. Look, I, I, as I told you yesterday, I just want to steer my car. I mean, I'm kidding. But, you know, a guy at this point that has an I heart Obamacare bumper sticker, I mean, look, it's intellectually dishonest. Obama is doing everything that Bush did times 10. But, you know, look, I have in, I have in the top black comedians, and they say, well, we won't say anything because he's African-American and we're African-American. The, the Democrats and the liberals won't say anything. But, but boy, they wouldn't stop Ellie Aiken under Bush. The, the ignorance that's going on, the intellectual lies, the party first. I mean, this is like Nazi Germany. I mean, it's really, I mean, you know, party first, the party, the party, uh, and, and the government. And, I, and I, I, I mean, Alex, I can go on and on about this. I mean, if it's one of our kids that get kidnapped or hurt, who cares? If our building gets destroyed, who cares? If it's Kevin Trudeau, they're saying he may get life in prison. Well, who didn't know Kevin Trudeau was a con artist? I thought he was a lovable con artist. That's the guy that had the fake late-night uh, TV show, you know? Uh, he was, he, he's was he been on my show. He's an interesting character. But he may get life in prison. But, boy, if it's the government, we have to feel sorry. They investigate themselves. Nobody gets in trouble. If one of their buildings or one of their people get hurt or the TSA, somebody gets shot, oh, my God, the end of the world. No, I hear the you, man, Cal. Stay there. I, listen, I've got to go to break. We're going to come back and talk about that actor that gave you inside intel on Obama being groomed for being a child. Stay there. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find it at InfoWarsShop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. All right, man, had to go. He was waiting to go in and get his kids. But we're going to get him back on in the future. He was telling me on his show today about Harry Lennox. Uh, he played the head FBI guy uh, on Superman, Man of the Steel, a bunch of TV shows. And uh, Harry Lennox um, was there at his studio and afterwards said, look, I, I knew Obama for years and even lived right by him and was friends with him. And he's a horrible rat and all this other stuff. And just and he said was basically groomed from a child to be president. And so Mancow was bringing all that up. And it turns out Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, all of them are like CIA babies. If you look at Obama's. Um, Mother, his grandfather, his grandmother, all CIA, all foundation run from the beginning. And that's my point. This is a scientific takeover plan. I could tell Man Cal, though, was very irritated because he said, oh, I'll come on your show and talk about that. And I could tell once he got on air and was talking about turning down that $9 million, he, he was really upset by the time he went to break and had to go. So, uh, but I mean, people need to know about that stuff. They, they need to understand that these type of things uh, are, are indeed happening. And so when you see people out there that are promoting 
establishment, anti-gun, anti-family. They're being paid, folks. They're being paid by the government, and in many cases, via government through contracts, stimulus money, through MMSNBC, through the, some of the big radio syndicators. They are being paid to do this. That's what's going on. And now they're coming in with the next salvo in all this. And that's why folks need to absolutely support this broadcast and radio stations that carry this. The globalists are destroying the economy so that only they have money and only they have the QE unlimited cash, the, the, the fiat counterfeit money they create, the digital money, so they can buy everything up. See, they have to crash things so that they can literally scoop it all up, not just so they own it, but so they totally can social engineer and control it. And that's why if you're listening to us on an AM or FM affiliate, you've got to support the local sponsors. You've got to support uh, the local station and spread the word about it. You've got to support this show. You've got to spread the word about this broadcast. You've got to spread the word about Infowars.com. And I know you are, but do it even more. And you've got to financially support us. I have been blessed enough to learn how to make films and have a subscription site and, and all the stuff that I just fell into over the years as ways to get the word out. And then it became funding mechanisms where we can fund ourselves. Most talk show hosts get a paycheck. They have a boss. And it's very hard to find a boss that will let you tell the truth. I am my own boss. I am my own media system. It's one of the only things like this in the world. Probably, well, it is an original. Like Drudge Report is an original. There's not many things that are truly standalone. Man Cow is an original. He's the real deal. But uh, it's bad. And, and you've got to come to the realization that we are watching the, 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 the meltdown of society. You can't sell out to a collapse, folks. I'm selling out to reality and justice and survival. I, I'm resisting. That's the only path. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. you got everybody selling out, folks. I use the analogy of prostitutes and, 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 and uh, you know, people out in Los Angeles can't even get paid now, basically, to be on tape. Because there's so many women that want to sell their bodies that it drove down the price. It's the same thing, folks, with all of you selling out. You sold out for nothing. There's nothing even there. Now those of us that won't sell out, the price goes up and up and up and up and up and up. And I watch people begging the establishment to let them sell out. The establishment doesn't need them. We need your support, folks. You back us. We've got more of the incredible Atomic Nation iodine in the proprietary one-of-a-kind system. If you want it, we've got it. And your purchase supports the broadcast. We have discounts. We can order more than one bottle. Infowarslife.com. And we have 20% off on the ProPure water filtration system. Now you can watch the Infowars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.